Welcome. Have a seat. I am happy to see you here again learning more about psychology. But if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Now let's start. The cognitive revolution was a period of significant advancement in the field of psychology and cognitive science that occurred in the mid-20th century. It marked a shift in focus from behaviorism, which emphasized the role of environmental conditioning in shaping behavior, to a more cognitive approach that focused on the internal mental processes involved in perception, thought, and decision-making. One of the key figures in the cognitive revolution was Noam Chomsky, who argued that humans have an innate capacity for language and that this capacity is not learned through conditioning, as behaviorists believed. Chomsky's ideas about language and the mind had a significant impact on the field of linguistics and influenced the development of cognitive psychology. Another influential figure in the cognitive revolution was Jerome Bruner, who argued that perception and cognition are active processes rather than passive responses to stimuli. He proposed the concept of scaffolding, which suggests that people use their prior knowledge and experience to construct new understandings and solve problems. The cognitive revolution also saw the development of artificial intelligence and the use of computers to model and study mental processes. Researchers in the field of artificial intelligence such as Alan Newell and Herbert Simon, were able to create programs that could mimic human problem-solving and decision-making abilities. The cognitive revolution had a significant impact on education, with a shift towards more student-centered, interactive learning methods. It also influenced the development of cognitive therapies in psychology, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, which focuses on helping individuals change negative thought patterns that contribute to negative emotions and behaviors. Overall, the cognitive revolution represented a significant shift in the way psychologists and cognitive scientists understood the mind and its processes. It laid the foundation for many of the advances in the field that have occurred in the decades since, and its influence can still be felt in contemporary research and practice. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions for future content, please don't hesitate to comment and reach out.